Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at uh, what can you expect in love, uh, what message spirit has for you, and a little bit about the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with during this time. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. That was a two of cups, wow, okay. So let's see what messages we have for you. Sorry, just got for Aquarius. Guidance messages, please. For Aquarius. What do they need to know, Spirit? What does Aquarius need to know regarding love? Regarding love. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, Four of Coin, the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups, Queen of Coin. Okay, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, bottom of the deck, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Okay, so right away I'm getting that there's some sort of move happening, some sort of event, because I have the Wheel of Fortune, and I have the chariot. So right away I'm thinking movement forward, events unfolding. Um, someone can be coming in to visit you, coming in to make some sort of move. Knight of Cups is here, so an apology, expressing their love, expressing how they feel. Um, and the Knight of Cups with the Four of Cups, you know, it's almost like hoping for stability, happiness, something to celebrate at the end of it all. Because things have not been easy with the Nine of Wands. I feel like someone no longer wants to be in this energy. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's almost like they're hoping for a change, a miracle to, to happen, for something to kind of turn around for them. Four of Coin, interesting. With the Queen of Coin. Those are po complete opposites. The Four of Coin is someone that is holding on because they lack something. Or they're holding on because they fear um, losing money. And they tend to be a bit kind of frugal or they hold back a lot um, in terms of like giving uh, whereas the Queen of Pentacles is completely generous so we'll see what that has to do with everything but let's get some energies out here first can I get some insight for Aquarius please what do we need to know for Aquarius what do we need to know for Aquarius regarding love spirit what are the energies surrounding aquarius regarding love someone is sick maybe a cold or something to do with like their sinuses an illness interesting i don't know how that's relevant but it came through very strongly okay hidden motives Can I get some more insight, please? For Aquarius. True love. Oh my God, I keep getting like multiple cards. Standing firm and judgment call. Okay. Bottom of the deck looking inward. With looking inward and hidden motives and standing firm, I'm getting someone that's like being stubborn almost in hiding or holding back. Can I get one more? I'm also getting that someone needs to like come out of their shell, come out of hiding and just be brave and just do it. Maybe that's why the chariot is here. Maybe the wheel of fortune will help. What else do we need to know for this particular person? Thoughts, thinking, and then main female. Feminine energy. So this person's thinking about the divine feminine here. Okay, I want one more, please. Okay, one more. What do we need to know? Change. Yeah, there's something. And there's courthouse. So I'm getting like, yeah, courthouse would change. is like a just definitive decision that causes change. 
um, like an official uh, decision. For, so for example, someone signing a contract for a job. Your job is changing, right? You're signing the offer letter, etc. So let's see what all of this has to do with you, Aquarius, because I feel like there's definitely something happening here. Starting off with this chariot. Can we get some insight, please? This deck is so little. Ah. So ironic. I, most tarot decks are too big for my hands, <laughs> but then this is like too small for my hands too. <laughs> All right, tell me about the chariot. Okay, hold on. That's way too many, but I want this one. Ah, four of cups, four of cups, ace of pentacles. This one flipped over, nine of pentacles. I'm not taking these, wow, three of swords, the devil, holy crap. And there's the sun reverse, okay, yeah. Something was not working out for someone here. Four of Cups, I'm getting like disinterested, dissatisfied, unhappy. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, it's almost like they're wanting more. An opportunity, making an offer to maybe this Nine of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the Chariot? What's going on with the Chariot? Ace of Cups, holy crap. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, yes. So the chariot is all about moving forward towards success. You're on the path towards success. And this person's thinking about love, an opportunity in love, because they don't want to feel this four of cups anymore is what I'm getting. This nine of wands, this four of cups, very similar energy. Tell me about the nine of wands and the wheel of fortune. Tell me about the nine of wands and the wheel of fortune. Knight of Cups. So we have the Knight of Cups twice. So the Knight of Cups tends to be very genuine, very sincere. It's like the, the person that says, I love you first. You know, you know that the, the heartfelt apologies, sincere intentions. Can I get one more, please, for the Knight of Wands and the Wheel? It's almost like they're hoping this Knight of Cups changes. Yeah. Oh my God. The Knight of, Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands again. So it's almost like I'm, they, they want to change their circumstances. You know, if I come forward to Aquarius with this Knight of Cups, if I'm sincere with my intentions, um, if I apologize profusely, if I express myself, maybe things will turn around. Maybe I won't be feeling like I'm feeling. Maybe there won't be issues between us, or maybe I won't feel as bad as I do. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is making a move. This could even be a physical move. Like maybe they're moving house, moving location, moving in, moving out of somewhere, making moves at work, and it changes circumstances. Can I get one more for the Nine of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they have no idea how this is going to turn out. Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, instantly, I think, Patience. Having to wait. Sagittarius energy with Temperance. They know this is going to take time, but at the, it, it's funny because I feel like at the same time, they're like stubbornly hoping for a miracle. Like they want a quick fix, maybe, or hoping that the way they come forward is enough. Tell me about this Knight of Cups and this Four of Cups. The number four is significant. Um, could be like something that happened in April, four months ago, four years ago. Four is a very uh, stable number. Can I get one more please for the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands? Did I say Four of Cups or I meant the Four of Wands? Six of Swords again, okay. Can I get some more please for the Four of Wands? Eight of Swords, interesting. And the Sun again. Well, Six of Swords is a card about moving. This person could even come over to apologize. Page of Swords, yeah, to talk things out. I also, I get the sense this person's like really scared. <clears throat> really scared.
Maybe they've never been this open before. Oh my gosh, Ten of Swords. No, it's because they have to talk about a betrayal or an ending. They have to talk about something difficult. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I can't speak. And it's hard for them, clearly. It's hard for them to get it out. I don't think this person is used to apologizing. King of Swords, yeah. It, they're going to tell you the truth about their feelings or about this apology will be very truthful. The sun, the king of swords, clarity, radiance, things out in the open, clearing the air, etc., etc. The star at the bottom of the deck, there you are, Aquarius. So it's almost like this person's hope, again, this energy of having hope that this is enough, that this will start things over, or that we can move past things, you know. Because it's almost like it's going to be such a big display. Nine of cups and then nine of swords. Yeah, <laughs> they're wishing for this but they're terrified at the same time i think they're terrified because it's not up to them you know there's this is out of their control this is out of their control you know nine is also an important number here but let me not get into numbers nines are about changes though okay hold on let me keep going um nine change is here as well interesting i don't have my cheat sheet but okay tell me about the queen of pentacles and the four of coin what do we need to know about this four of coin i feel like this person is held back because wow the wheel of fortune again okay tell me about the four of pentacles and the queen of coin the empress yeah i feel like this is you um you're this queen of coins. So you symbolize someone very stable, very solid, has a lot to offer. You are like the empress. And they're a four of coin. They don't have as much to offer, I feel. Yeah, the five of wands. I think they screwed this up. Four of wands at the bottom of the deck. It may have started off really nicely. Um, this might have been a very strong, happy, stable connection. And they, something happened to screw this up arguments fighting jealousy i feel like this person you were way it is almost like um they know they're not good enough for you and it makes things difficult yeah two of cups so you know the connection is there the love is there there's seven of cups at the bottom of the deck but choices mistakes were made I could tell you that right now. I'm about to jump into this person's energy to see if that's true. But that's what I'm seeing. Mistakes were made. Tell me more about this person's energy, please. This person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with? Nine of coin. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? For some of you, yeah, King of Wands. I was going to say, for some of you, this person has probably made some changes in their life. Maybe they leveled up in some way and it's like, now I'm good enough. Now I can come back with my he head held high. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Nine of Coin, King of Wands. I'm thinking that this was someone that was selfish. They were thinking about themselves, their needs. Um, I think that they got carried away. They acted without thinking and it caused issues here. Here's the Page of Swords and Ace of Cups. I feel like they want to tell you that they love you anyway. Or like they love you. They want this to work. Despite whatever this Five of Wands represents for you. This is a wish fulfilled for this person. Okay, let me get some insight into this Nine of Coin. Tell me about the Nine of Coin and the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I also feel like this person, maybe they wanted to be single or acted single as well. I feel like this person usually gets their way. Or it's almost like they think they know best and then it bites them in the butt later. Tell me about the Nine of Coin and the King of Wands. Seven of Cups, yeah, mistakes were made. Choices were made that I feel this person, it's almost like they might want to revisit the choices. It's like, let me have a do-over. Tell me about the Nine of Coin and the King of Wands. 
five of swords exactly mistakes were made what would i what did i say <laughs> I, I feel like they chose the wrong approach they chose the wrong thing to do yeah six of wands they were thinking too much maybe about what others thought let me look at what's here split the deck there's the star again the queen of cups yeah i feel like this person wants a do-over they they probably got carried away by others uh, expectations or social pressures peer pressure wanting to look good wanting to look a certain way um in other people's views there's a star again there you are aquarius but now it's like healing hope faith let me let me heal this with aquarius let me make different choices this time let me prove myself to them because i screwed it up yeah ten of swords yeah they they're it's their fault three of cups at the bottom of the deck interesting when i see the three of cups with the ten of swords like that i think of like someone got in the way someone else betrayed you or them or someone got in the way to cause a betrayal of some sort or an ending of some sort can i get some insight into this person what else do we need to know about this person this person i feel also with the six of wands maybe they're hoping for success because of the new choices they've made it's like they want to show you that maybe they've changed or they're not the same as they used to be you know tell me about this person tell me about this person i'm having doubts Ooh, there's that fear tell me about this person I would take it all back if I could. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, it's it's this person is so easy to like narrow down. Oh, I love this card here. What's this? I don't want to lose you. Oh, fits perfectly. Let me just leave it right there. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Feel free to check out that reading if you are, because it's very similar energies there. I think this is someone's someone's very clear energy. I think that this person, to be honest with you, Aquarius, is all over the place. Um, their energy is very simple but also all over the place which makes it like unnecessarily difficult <laughs> um the goal is clear let me just say let me just say that the goal is clear ace of cups ace of pentacles um knight of cups those are the three main energies that i feel um i think that this person's hoping that a grand display will kind of get your attention um maybe they're going to want to show off like a car or something or like show off their money in some way because you're doing so well and they weren't for so long or maybe they they leveled down in your eyes or they lost a job or they weren't as successful as you um and so they know that for you to even look in their direction first they need to apologize but also they need to step up as a partner um so i think that they're going to come forward and you know It's almost like they're wanting to tell you all of this with the goal of moving forward together. You know, it's it's not just, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, let me prove to you that I can be better or I can do better. It's not just, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but look at what I have been able to learn. Something like that. Um, I can't tell you if this person's intentions are like, the best but i can say the knight of cups and the king of swords came up twice well the knight of cups came out twice king of swords came up the page of swords came up several times so i can tell you that at the very least this person is going to be honest with you um and that will be a change perhaps because their approach it, they know exactly what they want with you and they know that they need to come correct so at the very least they're going to tell you the truth about how they feel but then it's up to you to decide what you want to do with that, right? That's where the fear comes in. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And um, thank you so much for all of your support. Feel free to leave me a comment. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Feel free to leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.